Hey guys, Jay with SureShot Night Vision. Just want to go over some of the things that's recently been talked about on the SMB filters on different forums and Facebook and, and whatnot. Uh, just to answer some of the questions that I've seen, uh, concerns, stuff like that. Uh, some people have complained that these are, you know, they're not low profile enough. So the distance from where they screw into the 14 glass to where your eye cup pops on is a little bit too much, they say. And, and I agree. I mean, maybe not too much, but it does stick out more than the, the standard eye cup retainer. And the reason being is because I've got the acrylic in here. So it has to be a little bit thicker than a standard eye cup retainer and it, for obvious reasons to fit the filter in. And uh, I mean, I, I really don't think I can get it much more slim than it is right now it does add a little bit to it but i mean it's it's not a game changer it's not much i think it's a little bit less than an eighth of an inch that it adds to it so they're about as low profile as i can get them uh if if one thing that i thought about is they do they mimic the eye cup retainer having this ring here so you can put your your eye cup on it I personally don't use eye cups. I mean, if I were going to war, I would uh, to keep the backsplash off my face and, and try and keep myself concealed. But, you know, walking around shooting pigs that don't have guns, it, it may not be necessary. Uh, comment, let me know. Uh, call me, email me, whatever. Let me know, do you guys want the eye cup retainer ring on there? Do we need to mimic that? Do, do any of you even use eye cups? I don't know. I know some people do, most people don't. It, it causes your lens to fog up more if you've got it. So that's up to y'all. I'm always listening to the feedback. Um, it, if nobody's really using it, I'll do away with this. I can make it a little bit thinner then. I can do away with that, that surrounding ring there if nobody's really using eye cups. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll make two different versions, one that actually utilizes it and one that doesn't. Uh, maybe a, a little more of a low profile design, I'd say. Another thing, uh, the main thing, is the color of the filter. So, I understand that these are a little bit too dark. I agree. Um, the previous testing with some other acrylic and stuff, trying to uh, get that color matched perfectly, it, it was an act of Congress. I don't do acrylic. I, I don't know anything about acrylic until now, going over different colors and shades and injection molds and then trying to get that good optical clarity to where you're not losing resolution and such. So that, that definitely adds difficulty trying to get it perfect. This is not perfect, in my opinion, and we are working on that. Uh, recently, we had some, uh, some I, I won't call it discoloration, but inconsistencies in the coloration. Uh, half of our filters were a little lighter than the other half. We tried to fix it, the, they returned them too dark. Um, they're still great for a lot of people, but a lot of people also say they're too dark, and I agree. I think we need to lighten them up just a little bit, and that's in the works. So I'm actually going over different acrylic designs. We've gotten a good sample. I believe it's it's still dark enough to reduce noise, but it's not too light to where it's it's not reducing noise, you know? So uh, I think we're at an equal medium on the new sample that we got. We're working on getting that lined out now. Another thing, it's been mentioned on uh, some YouTube comments and stuff, and, uh, and I, I'm not opposed to criticism whatsoever. Please, if you think there's anything wrong with this filter, let me know. I'll fix it, I promise. Um, these are not a get-rich-quick scheme. I, I probably don't even make any money off of these. It, it's just getting something in the hands of people that want it is all. I mean, it, there's, there's not much money in these, so please don't think that there is because, I, I mean, there's people that want filters. I'm trying to give you one is all. Uh, I personally like these too, if, you, if I can get them the right shade. Uh, the YouTube comments. Uh, some people were saying that they didn't like it because it's plastic. Um, it's actually Delrin. And the reason why they are Delrin uh, is, you know, a couple reasons that I thought would, would be better than aluminum. Uh, one, they're a little bit lighter. So they're a little bit lighter, trying to keep the weight down always. I'm an advocate about keeping it as light as possible. Nobody wants a brick on their head, and if I can keep from adding much weight to that, I'd like to do that. Uh, number two, uh, with it being Delrin, these threads right here that thread into your PVS-14 eyepiece, if you cross-thread this, 
it's gonna tear the filter up. It'll cross thread your filter, ruin the threads on the filter. If you do that, I'll give you another one for free. I mean, if you have an aluminum housing on these, like the, the first ones that I made were, you're gonna cross thread it, you're gonna ruin the filter, and you're also gonna screw up that eyepiece. You don't wanna screw up the $250 PVS-14 eyepiece. I would rather have Delrin, which is lighter. Uh, I mean, it's got a little bit of flexibility to it. If you drop your 14, it lands right on this filter. I honestly think it could save an eyepiece if you were to do that. Uh, you know, it's not something I wanna test, but you know, it's, it's definitely softer than aluminum. Number three, uh, the aluminum ones have to be anodized or they're going to be bling blinging out there while you're trying to be concealed and uh, reflecting hour light and, and moonlight or whatever. Uh, if you anodize the aluminum ones after, you know, long use and stuff like that, you wear off that anodizing and, and you're out there with a chrome eyepiece. So uh, that's another reason. And uh, that, that's, that's the main three reasons why I chose to make these Delrin and not aluminum. Uh, if you guys want them aluminum, I'll make them aluminum. Uh, like I say, I, I just figured it'd be better as Delrin. Uh, also, on these latest filters, whenever we did swap to the Delrin, we use a O-ring to retain the filter in there instead of using a snap ring like we did on the previous design. The snap ring looked horrible. I had some complaints about it. I complained about it, so we changed that, got the O-ring design is much better. Um, some people also ask, why are they not glass? Main reason is price. Uh, if I can find a good glass company that provides good optical quality at a decent price where I don't have to charge you guys $150 or something outrageous for these, I'm on board, I'll do that. I would rather glass myself also. Uh, some people ask, how come they're not Lexan? Uh, you know, excuse me, not Lexan. Uh, you know, you, you got the the different, what am I looking for here? The you plexiglass, you got Lexan, plexiglass, acrylic. I mean, it, a lot of those things are basically identical. Uh, the acrylic is the best optical quality that I can find. Um, like I say, if I can find a good glass company to, to get them shaded right and uh, give me some sort of scratch resistant, we'll go that route. Uh, I think that's about it as far as a filter goes. I mean, like I say, we're going to get these things lightened up and get them out to you guys. Now, here's what I'm going to do. If, if you've previously bought a filter and you don't like it, it's too dark, after I get this new acrylic in, test it, make sure everything's good to go, let me know call me email me comment whatever i will replace your filter for free send it in to me i'll put you a new insert in we'll get it lightened up for you i'll get it back out to you i'll pay the shipping to me i'll also pay it uh, pay the shipping back to you free of charge whatever i want to send you guys something that you like i don't want to send you some junk if you don't like it let's get it replaced let's get you something in your hand that you like using all right another thing that we plan on doing is making some universal housings. I've got a lot of guys that have 31s that want to run these uh, different eyepieces and, and such. On a set of 31s, they they have the uh, the diopter focus adjustment in your rings here. These are .50s, I believe. Yeah, .50s in here. So your eye cup will pop right over here. It's it's similar to your PBS 14 eye cup retainer but a little different, you know. It's got the little ring around here to where it can hold the eye cup. Now, we're planning on making a universal filter housing. Instead of screwing in and doing all that, we're gonna make one somewhat similar to the, the Wilcox Amber filter. So it'll be more low profile than the, the Wilcox is right now. So it'll just pop on like an eye cup and it'll house your filter right there. I've got a lot of guys with 31s that like running the the filters, but they can't get them on there currently. Clip-on guys, I love clip-ons myself. Uh, this one's the white phosphor filmless one, a new unit. These things are great. Uh, the CNVDLR or 2124, whatever you prefer. I've got a lot of guys using these also that want to run the filters. Now, obviously, these won't work, so we're working on a universal housing that will work on clip-ons also. Maybe a couple different sizes that'll work on the LR and, and stuff like that. Uh, the filters do great on these. I like them on Unity Optics. You know, they do good on 14s, 15s, 
15s, uh, 31s, whatever, but on a clip-on, I love them. I think they do phenomenal on a clip-on. And uh, you guys mostly know uh, that, like the 27s and stuff that we retube and work on, this one's actually going to get coated tomorrow. It's got a, a really nice L3 tube in it. Uh, we're planning on making some sort of you know universal filter housing on here also to where we can cut some bigger pieces and get them on the back of the 27s a lot of guys like running them on the 27s and i do also i think it helps a lot so i mean that's some things that we're planning on doing like i say i mean this this is not going to get me rich i just want to get something in your hand that you like using so uh any anything that you think that we can do to these to make them better please let me know I would like to hear it. You know, I, I'm not opposed to to hearing some bad comments. You know, hey, you, you know, if you want to make it perfect, you got to hear the bad things about it. And if uh, if I haven't found the bad things about it, I would like to hear it. So, you know, uh, get with us. Let us know what you think. And like I say, after we get the new acrylic, and uh, and you think yours is too dark, send it in. I replace it for free. Thank y'all for watching. We got some cool videos coming up right back here. So. Thanks, guys.